the Black Widow trailer. It came out recently. I saw the original, like, years ago. Feels like. What's this new one going to be about? Wow. Pure Black Widow. What is there to learn? It's been so long. What are you up to? It's nice to see the real Captain America. I mean, mistakes. Choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. That her? Look, who's that? You can kind of tell that they're just being like, uh, oh, we need to get some hype out of this, but we kind of shown everything already. That's supposed to be a, a young David Harbour. The gun is the galaxy opening. Okay. This is like the longest mystery is finding out who the skull guy is. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, computer. Always doing your best. Alright, uh, what was it? Is this the third trailer now? It just says new trailer, that's the title. That is that July one put in stone? Yeah, they made it, they, they caved and made it a Disney Plus in the end, didn't they? That's how it is. Have they made it? I feel like there isn't much to even see from that. I guess I could, I could get up the old trailer and like try and connect the I mean, all the later stuff, but like, I don't understand who this kid is for a start. Probably. Could work out. Phase 4 is lacking. Ah! To be fair, you know, it's kind of been a pandemic going on. Some, like, the breaks, you know. WandaVision? Really good. I haven't really gotten into Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But it was a 50 minute long episode, man. I don't have time. Whatever. Um, everything else, though, like, kind of repeats. What can you do? You know, this film's supposed to... When was... Is this supposed to come out like a year ago? I remember it got delayed till like October, November time. That's when I was expecting it. And then it moved forwards another, what, eight months after being delayed already? That's crazy. So like this scene, review sister or whatever is what we've seen before. I don't love it as seen. Honestly, I have no idea. I like, wow, that is a young David Harbour. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's supposed to be her. I mean, she does dye her hair over the years. That could just be weird marketing. He's just enjoying his own muscles. Fair enough. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that's two of them as kids. Sure, sure, sure. This just looks like Guardians of the Galaxy 1, right? This looks like where, um, Will gets taken away, and how where, um, T'Challa does in the, uh, other one. Future one. This is them talking to the family before they all kill each other. How wholesome. Lovely. Actually, it looks a lot more emotional. Not real, okay. Yeah, okay. So they, oh, okay, so it's not Guardians of the Galaxy, it's just one gets taken away as like a and they both end up pretty skilled. Yes, that makes a lot of sense, even though they have flying alien ships, so is the, be like a, I don't think too much about this. May 4th, 2020 was the original, okay. So June, July, we are 14 months, I had to actually verbally say that, excuse me, 14 months delayed this film. Marketing kind of gets kind of tough, you know? Wow, it's the training routines. The car, yeah. They don't want to reveal all their fight scenes. They don't want to reveal their twists. Fighting the sister when they first meet. And, ah, good old friends again or something. Sure, what is this about? Is that like pointing? Is that where uh, Anda is? And, like, and they've recognized... The just some something going on. The world is red now. Demons. No black widow connection. Or 
their symbolism on the palettes. Okay, Skull Guy's not the sister like I thought it was. I have no idea who. Transition. Dive through the world. Again, acting as family, saving each other. So, do they actually get along? Because they don't appear in future things. So I assume they, or maybe they just die as friends is the classic sacrifice story. Uh, I'm, I think part of the reason I'm so like, I'm not connected with here. What are it on Disney Plus? Ah, additional fee required, of course. Something about it does not grip me. Uh, maybe it's because I've been waiting for this for so long. Maybe it's because it's Black Widow and I'm not that attached. Maybe it's because I've, yeah, seen all these footage already that it's like, doesn't click with me. Oh, okay, I was worried that my TV had turned on. I like it. Even looking at those scenes, even if I mash it with the trailer, or... Uh, it's just like, eh. Going through the motions, you know. Has a troubled future, troubled past. She meets with her family, and they get in a fight, then they chat. Then there's the skull guy. It's gonna be revealed to be the dad instead, or someone who's close to the person. Unite and sacrifice each other, or they go and again the betrayal, and they move on, and then she ends up dead in the future. Uh... But I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I love supporting the Marvel Cinematic Universe because I'm a bit of a normie, so I will do. You know, um, I've now I think I've seen every Marvel thing, apart from I haven't seen the two shows that are non-canon. I haven't seen the latest Falcon and the Winter Soldier episodes. Only past I've only gotten to episode because episode. Everything else I've seen, I caught up on Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange and Spider-Man: Homecoming. The last three films I didn't see, but everything like this. I'll fork out money for, but I'm not invested. They don't want to reveal all the fight scenes and twists, which makes sense. They only want to spoil the most important ones. Yeah, sure. But yeah, obviously, they don't want to spoil much. It's been... They've probably been marketing this for two years. There's not much more they can do. It's just kind of being like, oh, a reminder, it's coming out now. Frost. So, uh, I'm happy to move on, honestly. 